guys, this is Cobber Fox bringing you the next installment of Let's Play The Sims 3 University Live. And I am literally picking up exactly where we left off, which we are here with Ava. She's kind of starting to get to know her roommates. We're going to have her whine about life, I guess, to... Oh, just kidding. The university meet and greet is starting at the student union. Head over to make some new friends and see what university has to offer. Okay, so apparently we're actually on our way to a student union meeting while she runs there. I'm going to go ahead and take a sip of coffee. Mm. Because it would not be a Copper Fox video without the coffee sips. <laughs> um, I hope it's not far. Remember in the last episode, it took her like forever to get where she was going. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hyperspeed. Whoa. Ashley DeSorrento invited Ava Grace into an upcoming juice kegger. Heck yeah. Hold on, let's see. 5.32, that's a random time to have a party. Formal attire, I'll be there. Heck yeah. Starting, blah, blah, blah. Oh, snap, there's the mascot. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. Is it Peggy? Is it Peggy? Is it Peggy? Peggy because I might freak out if it's Peggy let's see um if you guys watch any of my other um any of my other LPs no wait it just told me what is this oh no it's not Peggy um if you guys watch any of my other LPs in the princess games I believe Peggy was our slave so talk about the heat charming introduction be charming Um, uh, guys, I don't know if I'm going to do the, uh, fifth season of the Hunger Games and the Sims 3 or not, just considering how like buggy this game has been with my computer and stuff. So I don't know, guys, we will see. Is he a vampire too? Hey, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Who is that? Eddie Mullins? He's cute. I'll give you a charming introduction too. <laughs> let's go see maybe we'll be we'll start our scandalous lively lifestyle right now i really don't know if i want her Ooh, who's that so many cuties so little time let's see is he a vampire like his skin kind of has that maybe he's a werewolf he has a mark on him, like he might be a vampire. I think he is a vampire. Um, let's see. Dramatic. Tell dramatic story, whine about life. No. No. Um, romantic. Let's, uh, let's do the pickup line on him and see what happens. Oh, I liked his facial expression. You see him? He was just like, whoa. <laughs> hmm. Ah, coffee. Coffee is lifeblood. He seemed to like that. Um, flirt. Let's flirt with him. Why not? Ooh, I like his eyes. I've always liked the vampire eyes, though. Let's see what's gonna happen. So I guess he liked that too. Um, ask sign. Romantic. Ask if single. Romantic compliment appearance. Let's do all of those things. We probably really don't have time for a boyfriend if I want her to like succeed in school. The boyfriends make everything so fun. I know this from personal experience too. <laughs> boyfriends make everything so much more fun. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, he's she's asking if single. Okay. Yeah? No? Maybe? Yeah? No? Yay! He's single! Okay. Even if he wasn't, I'm not gonna lie, that probably wouldn't stop her. Compliment personality. Uh, let's try another pickup line. Um, let's try a heat the moment kiss and just see what happens. And then we'll probably stop talking to him because I want to meet more people. He seems to like all of my, like, romantic advances, so... Maybe we'll have some luck here. What is this contraption behind us? Is that like a bot building thing? Um, I don't think it's going to work, guys. 
Okay. Yep. Okay. Nope. All right. He did not like that. What is this? Research science. Guys, I've never done this before. Okay, so Eddie Mullins may not be the man for us. Who knows? We are going to go to that juice kegger party, though, and maybe get crunk. I don't know. <laughs> I won't lie. My college experience was not like this. I didn't, like, go to keggers and get crunk and kiss boys. And I actually already was dating my now husband at the time. And I just, I was kind of boring when I went to college, actually. I just went to school and then, like, hung out at my apartment. That was it. I never went anywhere. But that kind of goes hand in hand with being a really anxious person. So, I don't know. Apparently, I'm researching science. I don't know if I want her to keep doing that because it's not really part of her career. <clears throat> this is kind of cool, though, but I don't... Her major isn't science, though, so I probably should have her not do that. Maybe she should be science, though, being that her mom is all mermaidic and stuff. She could, like, find stuff out about mermaids. What do you guys think of that? Um, I don't really know why I had to be at this meeting. Can I just go home now? Actually, where's the kegger? Let me pause this really quick. Where's the kegger? Is it tell me yet, or is it not until the party starts? University meet and greet. Oh, I guess we had that so I could, like, meet other peeps. Is this where the party is? No. N might be this one, actually. It could be this house. I don't know. We'll wait and see, I guess. I'm going to have her go home for now. And maybe go try to talk to some more of her roommates. Because I realize in The Sims, I, like, never... Oh, what's this? Receive text from Ashley... You know what? I should probably stop her and see what Ashley said to her. It's kind of funny because whenever I see the name Ashley. Okay. Um, I always think about Ashley B plays and I'm always like, oh my goodness, I'm going to go hang out with Ashley now. Like, I don't know. It's just funny. <laughs> party, blah, blah, blah. Starts in an hour. Attend party. Let's have her do that instead. Let's, let's go get crunk at the party. I love her little dramatic self. She's funny. Um, so I probably should change. Hold on. Change outfit. Because they said it was formal wear, right? Didn't it say formal attire? I don't remember, actually. Let me chiggity check the map. Shouldn't it show me, like, party balloons? Wait, which house was it? Was it this house? Wasn't it her? Wasn't she Ashley? Hold on. Let's, uh... No, it wasn't her. Who's Ashley? What is it? What? Give lecture about learn to talk. What the heck? Girl, what are you doing? Also, what are you wearing? No, 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 no. Um, we have to go change this. She, that could not be her formal wear. I am sorry, but no. Um, edit Sim and Greta Sim. That cannot be her formal wear. That was like the most horrendous outfit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> mm. Coffee. Okay, let's go look at the dresses. She's not really a dress kind of girl. Maybe we shouldn't look at dresses. Well, maybe if we find the right one. Change this ugly crap, though. Did I do that? Like, I don't remember doing that. Mm. Let's see what's all here. I could see her in, like, something weird like this. <clears throat> it's not weird. It's just, like, really different. I don't know. I could see her wearing that. Or what else is here? I don't want to spend too long doing this because I know how I am when it comes to clothing and I will be here for like ever if I let myself. So what about one of these? No, that's ugly too. Just on her. I shouldn't say it's ugly. It's just ugly on her. Uh, nope, too much. What about this? I kind of like that. Hmm... I swear that invitation said formal attire, and I hope I'm not wrong in thinking that. This one's pretty, too. Not in that color, though. I like 
this dress what about this one what do you look like that's cute too and i'd probably put heels on her if i was gonna do that though i kind of like the short stuff she tends to be a little um pardon my language but she does tend to be a little skanky with her clothes so um i think we're gonna keep it a little like so I just want to get some strappy heels up in this biz and then I'm going to send her back out and hope that the party functionality works because I've had problems with the party stuff in the past, like not working. Those purple heels, heels are kind of fun, but I don't know if they go with her outfit so well. Or we could do like crazy heels like these. No, that's too much. I think it'd be kind of cute if we did these, but in like hot pink. So like hot pink pumps. I have random, super random side story. But um, at my first job in Utah, there was this super rude girl that I worked with. And I'm not going to say her name because she did not have a common name. And if I mentioned the name, it would be unmistakable. Like any person that ever knew me probably knows exactly who I'm talking about. Very uncommon name this person but I remember telling her one time like she walked into work with these gorgeous pink high heels on and I was just like oh my gosh your shoes are so pretty and she was just so snotty to me and like yeah I know like just her reaction was just so rude so yeah super cute shoes though it totally reminded me of her which is funny um wow she looks really pretty right here like i kind of want to take her photo and that's not something i do very often in the sims i don't ever like stop for photo ops but i kind of want to start so i think i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna take a quick little photo of her because i really love how i think it's life simmer at the end of her lp she'll put like a reel of all the photos that happened during the lp and i think that was so cute and it's so fun to like walk down memory lane like that so no i don't want it, her to give a lecture i'd really like it if she would go to this party like why 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 isn't that what i'm supposed to be doing isn't there supposed to be like a house with balloons telling me where to go guys is this like a cruel college joke what is that again that's the meet and greet no i'm like seriously sitting here trying to find the house that I'm supposed to go to. I don't know who Ashley is though. Is this Ashley? No. The, oh, that's Isla. Dude, I need to change Isla's hair back. Um, no, that's not what I meant to do. For re friends? No. <laughs> How sad her parents are like her only friends. Um, she, Shay Rexburg. That's pretty funny. I don't even know if I'm friends with anybody named Ashley. Um, guys, I really wanted to go to this kegger. I'm so sad. This is such a bummer. What? I mean, I guess I could just go home and throw my own kegger. Dude, let's do that. I have money. I can do that. You run in those pink pumps, girl. You go. You go, Glen Coco. <laughs> have I told you guys that I've decided I probably haven't on my secondary channel I put up like a new background with every theme or like every excuse me every holiday if you guys watch my second channel I changed the backdrop up and I just put up like my new year's one and the reason that I changed the backdrop drop up all the time is because um I don't have like an official office I just work in basically my parents house has like one room where all the crap that doesn't have a place goes and that's totally where i film and i need like somewhere nice to set up and it actually if you saw the entire room it looks horrible but the place where i film looks nice <laughs> but when i move and i actually have like my official office and stuff i am planning to put up a little printout framed behind me that says you go glen coco because that like I say that all the time, especially in my gaming videos and stuff. Uh, let's see. I want to throw a party. No, sorry. Throw party. I don't even know if I know enough people to throw a party. Isn't that kind of... Oh, okay. Apparently, I don't need to know everybody. 
So who's Ashley? Her name was Ashley something with an S. Q-R. It's not even here. How am I supposed to do that? How? Somebody explain this to me. Um, let's invite this Ted kid. He looks kind of scary. Um, we'll invite Eddie Mullins and Candy Mullins and Shay Rexburg and... Okay. House party. And we'll do formal attire because that sounds nice. Birthday, f birthday party, feast, costume party, gift giving party, juice kega. Wait, why not? So, formal attire. And it's going to start at 8 p.m. Okay, so I probably need to go into build mode. Make sure to have the cake fill the music blasting when the guests arrive. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know where to find kegs. Like, is that in outdoors? I'm not even sure. I probably am going to have to use the University Life filter, though, to find that. No, that's Generations. Where is University Life? Is it this one? Yeah. University. Nope. 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 Oh, it would probably help if I did that to like look at everything. It would probably help if I did that here too. Is there a keg? Dude, I don't even know what the keg looks like. Like, I probably already passed it and you guys are probably yelling at me to be like, Chloe, it's right there. Because I feel like that happens to me a lot. You guys will be like, Chloe... Seriously, you passed the keg like four times. Uh, nope. 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 I don't think it's in decoration. Am I sure it's not in entertainment? Ah, this is it right here, huh? Is this the keg? Yeah, juice keg. Okay, let's put this. Can I put it out here? Dude, totally. We'll put a couple of these up. We'll get us a bonfire back here. I didn't realize how much space was back here. Um, we'll get us some audio beats. Uh, no, beats. We want to do all for the beats. Because we need to drop the bass. Because I'm all about the bass. About the bass. No trouble. Totally what makes that. Blah, 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 blah. I cannot speak. Totally what I think about when I say bass. Because you know I'm all about the bass. About the bass. No trouble. Okay. Uh, where would one find fire? Actually, I think the fire pits are in by mode. They're in like that outdoor entertainment. No. I wouldn't mind having one of these out here. One of these like bubble things. But then you have to put chairs with it. And I think this money is like coming out of my money. So that sucks. But it's okay. I'll deal. Okay. There's that. Got some keggers. Got some of that business. Got some music. I probably should have a dance floor maybe. Da, da, evacuate the dance floor. Oh, is there a fire pit back here? No, it's a trampoline, huh? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a bonfire. Yay! I don't even have to have a freaking bonfire thing. I'll just put this out here. There's a ping pong table out here. All right. Sounds good. I like it. Um, I'm going to come down here and turn on pour juice. No, the bubble thingies are on. I feel like we need some light out here though. What is this? Pour juice. All right, let's do some of that. Pour juice. Let's see what that looks like. Her first keg. Oh my gosh. She's like officially a party girl. Her first ever keg. We should capture this moment too. 
She looks so excited about it. Okay. Ooh. -hoo. <laughs> Alright. What's this? Befriend a vampire. Eat candy. No thank you. Throw a great party. Um, we should also have her come over here and light the bonfire, I would say. And... Yeah, the party's gonna start in like 30 minutes. Hmm... I wonder if she's supposed to have any homework done. Do we know, guys? Do we know? Says, attend class, study exams, and skill objectives. The first guest to arrive, it's time to start the party. To make it success, make sure everyone is having a good time. Make sure to have the jib, blah, 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 blah. You call that a party? Dude, she didn't come outside to the party. She was just like, you call this a party, whatever, I'm leaving. What a jerk. Uh, friendly introduction. Whoa, that was weird. Friendly introduction. <gasps> Hello. Dance together, please. He's a cutie. What is his name? What is your name? What is your name? Mugsy? No. no. Your name is not Mugsy. That is what I call this big gigantic red mug that my husband had for years. It was called Mugsy. Or like a dog. Your name is not Mugsy. That's insane. Ooh, who's that? Oh, it's that Oni 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 on a key moon? On a key I can't even say that. Um should I come over here and do a keg stand with what was his name? Mugsy? Come on, Mugsy, do a keg stand with me. Oh look, they're dancing! Wait, wait. I will capture all of the first party moments. All of them. all of them because you never know this could be like her future husband and this was like their first true moment together or he could be some jerk that totally breaks her heart you know you just never know getting fuzzy on the bubbly dude how come they don't have like i know for the bachelorette party you can do like a uh, champagne fizzy blast thing but how come they don't have like the champagne toast like if they ever add a crazy generations pack to the sims 4 i expect like best man toasts and stuff oh my gosh this is ridiculous hold on I have to photograph this. I apologize. This is pretty hilarious. <laughs> oh man. Okay. You get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, get it, girl. Order a pizza. All right. I'll have her do that too. I'm trying to get her all like social and whatnot. So let's see. Sorry, guys. I feel like my mouth isn't, like, directly in front of the microphone like it should be. Let's have her services. Call services. I need a pizza delivery. Thank you much. I feel like there's a lot of girls here. Did I do that on accident? Blow bubbles. Let's do mint bubbles because if it were me, that's probably what I would do. Blowing bubbles. Okay, is he like the only guy here? Because that's a little depressing, I'm not going to lie. Apparently she needs to pee. We should probably let her do that. Why is no one dancing? Dance, dance till you're dead. I am so one of those people that like every time I hear a phrase that reminds me of a song, I have to sing it. I get that from my mother. 
I'm excited to see what class is like because I've never done that. What is this? Throw a juice cake. She just did that. Well, maybe she'll throw another. Uh, no, no. I think that Anak guy was the only other guy that was here. Why is my bonfire out? Uh-oh, Ashley's going to get pissed because I threw a party during her party and a lot of people came to my party. But in my defense, I feel like she set me up. I'm just saying. Today, girl, there we go. Getting her groove on. Nope, apparently not. And now she's getting tired. Looks like I'm almost in here. That'll be 30 bucks. Thanks for the pizza. Thank you for your order. We'll deliver pizza. Blah, blah. That was from earlier. Ashley Grayson missed Ashley D. Sorrento's Raging Juice Kager. Well, you know what? I had my own Raging Juice Kager. So how about them apples, Ashley? No, nothing. Who's that? Pause. Oh, it's that same guy. He's just dressed up. He cleans up nicely. Dude, are there people inside too? Go down. Who are you? Why are these people like peeing themselves in my house? Ted is here. It looks like a lot of people actually showed up, but they're like stuck here. Um, is anybody else here? Is that it? Also, there's like another thing here. What's that? Oh, it's the pizza. Okay. Send love letter. Sure, let's send a love letter. Let's send it to this Eddie kid. He was cute. And he's all vampy and weird and totally like, I don't know. I love that they go and sit down and like actually write a love letter. It's kind of cute, right? That was cute. <laughs> writing her first love letter. It was kind of, they had kind of a rocky start though, but you never know. I'm leaving my options open here. I think the party is officially over because she has school. I know she's tired. She's hungry. I'm going to have her grab. Uh oh. What am I supposed to do if the police are coming? The police are on their way to Ava Grayson's Juice Kager. Better break up the party. Uh, Yeah. breakup party. Do it now, woman. Whoa, creepy eyes. Hey, nice party. I gotta go now, though. Turn off. Delete it. Ava's party has dragged to a close. The guests are already complaining about Ava's hosting skills. Ah, I thought I did a pretty good job. I tried to be fun. Um, uh, eat spaghetti. No, I really wanted you to eat some of this pizza. So grab a slice of that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and send her. Up to bed. To bed, to bed, I said. To get some sleepy buys. She's in a super pissed off mood, so there's that. I wonder if I can hire a maid while living here. Like, is that even a thing? Come on. All right, to bed. 
I hate that she lives on the top floor just because it takes her forever to like go to sleep. But I know that she's tired and like previously stated, she totally has school in the morning. So I think it's in the morning anyways. Let me double check that. Yeah, she starts class in 12 hours and she hasn't done like any studying or anything of the sort. So I feel like it's kind of necessary. Why sleep until 6 a.m.? Then why is your... Oh, I guess it's almost 6 a.m. Why would you only sleep until 6 a.m.? I would like you to keep sleeping, please. Do you, like, have to wake up at 6? 11 days until finals. Mm. No, I want you to go back to sleep, sweet cakes. Go back to sleep. You don't have class for 10 more hours. Please get some good sleep. Wait, no. Why are you waking up? Go back to bed. What is wrong with this game? It like will not let me sleep. Why? I want to sleep. sleep until 3 p.m. Okay. I don't know if she needs to sleep until 3 p.m., but you never know. Anyways, you guys, I think this episode actually has dragged on for a little bit longer than I would have liked. So I'm going to cut us off here. She's sleeping anyways. So in the next episode, we will hopefully get to go to class and get some studying done and kind of find out what her major is all about. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you all in the next one. Don't again, forget to talk to me with your fingers over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm always, always, always available there for you guys. And uh, also my secondary channel, which there will be links for at the end of this video. There's a new video going up at midnight on New Year's. So on the 1st of January. So don't forget to check that out if that's something you think you might want to see. All right, guys, I will see you all next time. This is Copper Fox signing off. Mermaids, it's me, Chloe Taylor, and today I am bringing you a little bit of a different video. Sorry my hair looks ratchet. Um, I am going to be shooting a QA. and a I asked you guys over on Twitter and Instagram, though I feel like Twitter was a little bit of a fail. I don't think I got any questions over there, but I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions underneath of a picture that I posted, and I actually got quite a few. I was really pleasantly surprised. I was kind of afraid to put the picture out there and then have like nobody ask me questions. So I'm pretty excited to get into these. There are quite a few. So let's go ahead and swim on into it. Underscore Lauren underscore B underscore wants to know what is your favorite part of being a YouTuber? Um, my favorite part of being a YouTuber, I'm going to go with two things. The obvious answer, which is all of you wonderful people that I get to meet and connect with. That is probably the best part. But the other part is, is I get to work 